Okay, these are from Tyson's videos. He's got a spot where these are tendon balls. That's all they are. And that is a tendon ball. The same thing we're finding in space. I just did a video called Bodies Found in Space and Being Mapped. Now see all the little pock marks on there? You see this? This is the first photos of Dwarf Planet, Dawn's mission to series 2007 to 2018. You see all the little pock marks? You see all these little ridges around them? Just like you saw on Tyson's and just like you'll see now. These are very similar. See the ridges in them? This is how they develop. And then there's a stalk right here. And all these little balls create these little cavities and so forth around. They look like crater impacts. But some of them are, obviously. But not all of them are crater impacts. A lot of them are these, as you'll see in the ones I show. See, this is the type. They have these rings around them. They got a lot of bunch of little tiny pock marks in them, too. This is, that's from skin. <laughs> I'm telling you, this was skin. That's kale and clay. That's a fine skin. And these balls create the interstitium. There's another stone ball. Looks very similar. Iapetus, uh, one of Saturn's moons, has the same ridge right around it. There's another one there. They're everywhere. These are not just here and there. They're everywhere. The Earth is biological, 100%, and everything that I have found in space is biological as well. There's another one there. That's that's the stalk. And then the, the ball, sometimes they're in, um, like, eggshells, and sometimes they have cross hatches through them. There's, there are different ones for different places in the body, maybe different creatures. I'm not sure. See, some of them are like this. But they're all round, and they lock in the body, and they, they're fibrous, and they attach. And there's all kinds of little nicks and knot, holes in them and stuff. That, that's what anchors them. And then they have a, a, a stalk, usually. Well, they always have a stalk. These are the interstitium balls. Right? This is, that is the fluidy sort of flexible layer that is on all your organs and it's on, you know, it's, it's the floating layer that surrounds things and, and your, your skin around your organs and it, it, that's what anchors everything so that it can move around a little bit but then come back. And that's what we're finding these balls all over the place. Alright, this is something that they're studying right now. It's called Psyche. And they're studying it to find out what it's made of. And, and this should prove exactly what I'm saying, that that is a tendon ball. Study the elemental composition. And that's the where the stalk is. If you know the surface composition, what it's made of in terms of iron and nickel and silicon and oxygen, you can then start to say something about its history and how it formed and how it evolved. That's what I want to find out, and they will find out it is biological. All right, this is Iapetus Equilateral Ridge. Now, that's one of Saturn's moons. And this is Tetris, another one. There's where the stalk attached. And all these little spots, they're not necessarily impacts. They, 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 that's how they form. This is uh, Mimas. That's, the, that's where the stalk attached. Um, it's just what it is. It's time to look at this in a whole different way. And when they find out what the materials are, now we can really go somewhere when they find out what metals and so forth are involved there. Because we can, you know, associate that to other ones that we have, hopefully they will be testing here on Earth. They're the same stuff.